The dark side We've of the moon? only seen, like, one side. Hey, hella niggas What do you think is on the other side? Hella niggas. Niggas? Es- extraterrestrial and, niggas, though. And what are they doing? I think jumping? there's a base up there. Huh? <laughs> jumping? <laughs> Why do you think they're up there jumping? Why? Why? What? <laughs> you, well, okay. In your, the- in your craziest scientific because fantasies. <laughs> There's just niggas on the other side of the moon jumping up and down. High as fuck. Oh, high jumping. Just like, woo. Can't do this on the other side. (laughs) Let's talk about them underground Atlanta orgies. I still stalk the girl my ex cheated on me with four years ago. What's the wildest thing a piece of coochie had you doing? Had a one night stand. That can be anything. She said a 10 piece wing and a blue Gatorade will have y'all acting unusual. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Thick Threads, the show where we dive into the thickest threads on the internet. I'm your co-host, Patrick Cloud. And I'm Persephone. And we got some good stuff for you today. Yeah, I, w- I want to say this is episode one. Yes. But we we shot a test episode that I really liked. And I kind of, I mean, we were, talk- we were talking about micro penises mm-hmm. and twists. And bad first dates. And there was a uh, there was a dude who got beat up because he he couldn't get it up. He went mm-hmm. soft. A dude who had a threesome. It was pretty crazy, but it was it was a it was a different place. So mm-hmm. you know, we, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna start doing them here. Yes. Um, but I I don't care. This is episode two. Let's let's just let's just okay. say that let's just make them watch the first one. It looked completely we should. different. <laughs> yeah, it did. But we should because it was really good. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I don't, I don't have any consistent shows. I'm with it. <laughs> All my shows have <laughs> different backgrounds every seven episodes. Um. So yeah, we're gonna take turns. Uh, we, we both brought a, a thread. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go into it. We try to match them up. Uh, I haven't heard yours, and you haven't heard mine. Right. And then we're going to end with some fun facts. I'm really excited for you to hear this because I think your commentary is going to be pretty I, decent. I like when you, because this is a story, right? Yes. You be, do, you be pulling up with the story threads. Yes. Okay. I find the good stories. Mine be like a cumulative, a cumul, cumulative, okay. a cum, you bunch that of, off? a bunch of niggas send it into one. And so it's a bunch of PO, it's a bunch of poves bunch of POVs. So what's yours called? And then I'll say the title of mine. Okay, mine is called Had a One Night Stand. Okay. That can be anything. That mm-hmm. can end in murder. But it also has a face and a emoji. Okay. So there's so it's some there's freaky some shit thrills, in there. <laughs> yeah. And some some, some, some licking. Some spills and thrills. Some some crevice licking. <laughs> okay. Uh speaking of crevices uh, mine is, uh, what's the wildest thing a uh, piece of coochie had you doing? Ooh. So mine is just a whole bunch of stuff. And some of it is like, even for niggas, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I done Twitter's some, a wild place, boy. I done have some niggas doing some crazy shit for the coochie. Oh, we gonna ask. We gonna ask what the craziest things done for your coochie is um, as well. And we gonna ask what you did. Oh, the craziest boring story. Things. No. Boring story. No. <laughs> no. Boring story. You're not getting out of this, mister. Oh, no. I'm, I'm gonna say it, but it's, it, I'm just saying it's gonna be boring. I'm gonna need I'm you to doing, pick the best I'm one. I'm gonna be doing no crazy stuff. Compared to the list, I might as well go first. I'm lukewarm at best. Nah. You going last. You going after everybody, and we're going to see. What's the wildest thing a piece of coochie had you doing? Which we were kind of, you know, I think we were on that on that track anyways. Yeah. This is by, by at Bayo Bion. He had a readable mm. one. Um, and he said, this is a safe space. Which is clearly not. So, um, at Make No Apologies says, I went to her job to beat up a co-worker that was bothering her. And her boyfriend was too pussy to do it. Wait, what? Got a friend of mine to give that same boyfriend a job working nights so I could be with her. This nigga was a villain. This she is... got the he got the boyfriend a job. He went beat up her coworker that was bothering her. Uh, then he got a friend of his. Oh, she didn't get fired after that. Okay, Keep I don't on. know. I mean, maybe it was like off off the premises or something. Okay. Uh, but then he got a friend of his to give the boyfriend a job that worked nights so that he can smash freely. Um, this boyfriend is a bum. Why? Because he got cause he, he didn't wor- beat up the coworker. Okay, that's the one thing. But and what's he didn't the other have thing? a job. Well, I mean, his, you had to get he got another a new nigga job to give him a job. Nights. You had to get this another. This diabolical. Nigga no, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. To give your boyfriend a job. He sounds like 
He's the boyfriend. He needs to just. I mean, if he if he beat the if he beat somebody up, you beat up a coworker and you got her boyfriend a job. Yeah, she you should break up. You should have. He just needs been, to be the boyfriend. Yeah, or something. Maybe he doesn't want that. Uh, Not, that doesn't work for everybody. You know. You know what? He's going to be the side that becomes the main. Well, there's a lot of um, I guess beta activity in this thread, but again, safe space. Uh, another dude said, I bought her a car with cash and never rode in it one time. He had the little crying African kid emoji or a gif. This one's Ooh. bad. Um, glad wait, I'm not the only wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. He bought her a car and never rode in it. He paid cash. Nope. Open and shut case. Never saw, never rode in the car. Don't know what situation that was that made him not ride in it. She must have been. <sighs> Married? <laughs> she was like, thank you, bye. No, he couldn't have been married because the husband would be like, where'd this car come right. from? <laughs> Why does it have a big old bow in it? But how does she just dip after that? It gets worse. There's nothing he can do, though. So the dude says, I was hitting this 45-year-old when I was 27. She had me so gone. One day, uh, she had to go work for an emergency. She had to go to work for an emergency. Uh, she asked me to take her husband lunch. Bruh, I bought this nigga a meal. I bought this nigga a meal and took it to him. Told him I was her nephew. 27, 45 year old. That 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 chalks up, but that's pretty it's pretty devious. He bought the meal too. She had magic pussy. Listen. I just, I really want to know what having a dick feels like. Because if y'all going through this type of shit, we won't do that shit for dick. Like, y'all will really, you know, that's like, crazy. I would never. You know how your the voice in your head is randomly stronger than other times? Like, sometimes it'll tell you to do something, and you're just like, man, that was dumb. And then sometimes it'll be like, eat the cookie. And you're just like, I've got to eat the cookie, you know? It's like, eat the cookie all the time? It's like that strong voice, but down here... And it like it just happens that randomly. Like it'll just be eight PM and it'll be like pussy. And you're like, I'm trying to do something. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 weird. What the fuck? I think you guys I, I don't think it's that different than y'all though. I think you guys just we, talk about we it do less. Some, we we we've done some things. I feel like a horny a horny girl is just as bad as a horny dude. Y'all just don't I talk don't about think it. It's, no, it's not on the same level. Cause I don't think we're willing to go through some of the lengths to get the D that you guys are willing to go through. Oh, to get I the don't. P. Well, maybe not. Maybe you guys don't say it, but these guys did for sure. Um, okay, this well, one's bad. Next. I pretended I had a job because she didn't like hood niggas. She would come spin a night. This nigga was definitely a hood nigga. Mm -hmm. S-P-I-N-N-A-N-I-T-E. -N -N okay. Spin a night. And in the morning, I acted like I was getting ready for work. I used to park a couple blocks over and walk back through the cut. By the time she figured it out, she was in too deep. Wow. He pretended like he was a working man and just drove up the street. So she was in too deep. I guess she was just like, I like you now. Which... He, uh, you, you, a part of her has to respect the, the lengths he went through. He must have really uh, liked her. Uh, Took a charge for her little brother. Not even for her? What's the charge? Does he, he didn't he say. say oh. Just said, took a charge for her little brother. That's, that's by far the worst one. Like, going to jail, not even for her. He loved her. This he, is not just coochie. Yes, it is. It can't be. You can't, Took you a can't charge? Love, you can't love a piece of coochie? You you take a charge just to fuck? You wouldn't take a charge? I, I, hey, I hey, feel hey, like hey. there's love. I think I think you're I think you're reading too deep into the piece of coochie. I think that was just a joke. This could have just been anything, anything for a woman. This is what would you do for love? I mean, he was, was probably love. in love. Yeah, but I mean, who knows? Coochie could be that good. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there's a mythical a mythical coochie out there that will that's worth jail. I don't think it was that one, unless he was in love. But okay, okay, this one's okay. This one's intricate. Going from her second story window to the roof, then walking on the fence as her neighbor's dog was barking and jumping at me because her parents came home and damn near broke her bedroom door down. 
and was threatening to shoot whoever she was in the room with. Okay, I remember mine. <laughs> <laughs> that made me remember mine. Oh, okay. so it's not as boring as uh, not as boring as. See, um, I knew you could pull something out the arsenal. Jesus. Okay. Climb to the roof of her six-story building at four a.m. Whoa! Climb to the roof of a six-story building. This nigga Spider Man. All right, Tom Why? Holland. Then he said, "Then jump down to the balcony of her condo." She went. He went from roof to balcony. To balcony. Oh, Jason Bourne level activity. But okay, why? this is the worst one. She wouldn't open the door for him of her condo and open the front door because she lost her keys in the club. Oh shit! And he did all this while being black. He made sure to and to add that. Yeah. Could you really make y'all do this? I Listen. need to start up in the ante. I okay. I need to make some niggas do some really crazy shit. I've is... I've never done anything like like Uh-oh. I've like a lot of that stuff was like premeditated. Like I'm gonna do this for you. I was trapped in a situation much like the guy who was attacked by the dogs. Okay. Okay. Back in um, damn, what grade? This is like high school. Grade. Oh. High school. I had a girlfriend who was in Orange, who lived in Orange County. It's a pretty That's far hard. drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, and I was just now driving, right? Mm-hmm. So I would visit her, and this was my first time going over her house. And this was on some old school seventies movie. Uh, her parents were asleep upstairs, but she was rich. She had a very big house, and she had a guest room. Mm-hmm. And um, I was able to sneak in through the window. And, uh, and she, she was would, on the first floor. She, she, yeah, the guest room was on the first floor. Okay. Uh, her parents were asleep upstairs, and uh, I snuck in, and uh, we started doodling. Doodling, and, uh, doodling, yeah. What's doodling? Doodling is uh, what you do before you get to the the Four yodeling. Play? Yeah, you know, it was kind of like just downstairs action. You know, there was no, there's no P in the V j- mm. just yet, but it was Not getting yet. there. Okay. You know. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I think I was about to be orally worked on. Oh, you were about to be? About to be. Okay, so you were doing the doodling. You were doodling her cooling. <laughs> Maybe. I don't really remember what happened before that. The oh, night got really ooh. scarred. Damn. Um, Because then I just heard these big old oofy, you know, gorilla-like footsteps Oh, no. stumbling down the stairs and um it was her dad okay and she had this little closet Were you under the bed she had this oh. little harry potter closet it was like real it was i don't know if it was for towels but it was big you know and she basically made me hide in there and okay. it was just like i'm gonna get i'm gonna get him to leave and then you can come out right this nigga i don't know if he thought he knew what was going on or if he was really like this he said your mom is snoring I'm coming down to shoot to sleep in the guest room. So he was kind of like, what the hell are you doing in here? Right? So she, and I'll never forgive her for this, even to this day. She watched this man get lay on the bed and fall back asleep. And she was trying these little things to get him to leave. But they weren't, it, she wasn't trying hard enough. Wait, I'm a little confused. This nigga, you ever, you ever play that game, Don't Wake Pop? And this nigga's trying to sneak out. He came and got in the bed with her in the guest room? Yeah. Oh. Not on no weird shit, but like no, they no, had a guest I'm room. Just... So the mom was snoring. He was like, I'm going to the guest room to go to sleep. We were Even about to Even if she I was, was in there sleeping. His daughter, huh? Even if his daughter was already in the guest room sleeping. I think they had, I think he asked, She the, her first attempt was like, use my room. And he went there. Or no, no. And he said, I don't like your, something, something happened. It was oh. a bunch of weak attempts. And she was doing nothing. And I had to sleep in that little thing <gasps> because he was like some ex-Marine type of shit oh, who would have no. killed me. And I literally had to wait until sunrise. And he finally left and she opened the door and, and she started laughing at me because how, <laughs> how I looked up was so pathetic. I was just like, Ugh, you look like a slave. I just, I <laughs> look like a slave. Shoved past her, grabbed my, st- and that was the other thing. My keys and shoes were separate, so I couldn't even make a run for it. Um, because I was, you know, it's getting down. So I grabbed that stuff, jumped out the window. 
She said, she told me later that neighbors saw me, but I didn't care. I went to my car, drove down the street, processed, <laughs> went to CVS and got a whole bunch of stuff. And then I, 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 yeah, that was it. She slept in the closet for some kind of Slept in a small and you closet. didn't even get any. Small closet. Nope. You I, should. I slept in there ever, with a hard penis. Did you ever, did you smash later? I really hope you did because you put in you put in the type was, of work that I think that was the last. Romantic. If you didn't actually get it, that sucks. I don't think I did. No, you put in all that no. fear and emotional energy for no. nothing, and mm-hmm. all you did was doodle her. She didn't hey, even man. doodle you back. I know. God. Hey, that's that's why I belong in this thread, man. It's <sighs> you pathetic. Sure do shit. <laughs> Yeah. She I don't think she I don't think she did enough to get to 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 help me out that night. You leaving the closet. Oh, probably she described been a bad idea. Because when before I went in, I cased the situation. I was just like, Your parents are up, are asleep. Like, are you sure? And she, her thing was my, my dad's a heavy sleeper, but if he wakes up, you have to leave because he's crazy. I got prefaced of that. He's a huge I don't know, he was like some buff shoot him up type of nigga. So I was I was rolling the dice being there in the first place. I mean, you win some, you lose some. I lost that. You lost that one. All that. Okay, so this is Trap Doll D. Trap Doll D. Some 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 usernames aren't sayable. Yeah, I be trying to shout people out on Twitch and stuff, and if you you don't make a real word up, I can't yeah. help you. She calls herself the Doll. Okay, yeah, lead with that. She's cute. Um, okay, so had a one night stand. Do you uh, add the emojis up? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, Very emoji. Naomi POV. This was like two, three weeks after me and Raheem broke up. Layla and Ashanti decided that it was time we went out again. I don't know these people, by the way. Layla and Ashanti. Or Raheem. Raheem. Um, I haven't been with them since a little before me and Raheem broke up, considering their boyfriends is Raheem's homeboys. Okay, so okay, so break this this group situation out. It's her. She was with Raheem. Mm-hmm. She's also with her home girls, who are with Raheem's friends. They're dating his yeah. friends. Yeah. Okay, but it's just her, her friends. Yeah. So okay. far. Anyways, we chose to go out or whatever. So I threw on something cute but simple. You have no limits tonight. I allow you to take however many shots. Ashanti spoke. So her herself. home girl. Okay, so she must have done some wild stuff out and about. One thing about Ashanti is she was always willing to get drunk. Okay. Layla. Oh, so she's, she's giving us friend. the characters. No, no. Yeah. She, I think she laid out pretty clearly who, who Ashanti is in oh, the group. Right. <laughs> always on, down for anything. Uh, <laughs> okay. Layla is more the mom of the group and always wanting everyone, everybody to play it safe. Ooh, character breakdowns. I like it. Yeah, that's what I said. She's giving us some some character Layla's backgrounds. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't take too many shots, Naomi, she said, giving me the serious face. I nodded, knowing I was gonna do the exact opposite. Oh, this is <laughs> a, a whole group. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole group. Well, I'm saying a whole group, schmo group. I'm not judging. Anytime somebody's like, I'm Sounds- the mom of the group. Sounds like she a, got a fun group, group of whole friends. <laughs> I'm the mom. She's probably I clean the up the condoms. <laughs> She's the freakiest one. The moms? Mm-hmm. Wait, women oh, who say I'm the mom of the group are the freakiest I ones? I would think so. Yeah. I've heard that so many times. Yeah. I've heard that so many times. You've probably dealt with the mom of the group before. And no, like, for Damn. sure. <laughs> but that be, that be, they make it seem like I'm the nice one of the group. I just make mm-hmm. sure everybody's good. You know, yep. everybody gets into their nigga Uber. They used to be the designated driver every everywhere we but went. They freaky too. The designated drivers. Yeah. Are you kidding? I thought they were take, willing to just go to sleep dry. But keep going. We line shit up for after. Because they're in their right mind. No, no regrets. No regrets. No. <laughs> All right. I had already been drinking in the car. Damn. Let me not act like. Let me. Yeah, try to get through without the judgment, Judy. Okay. 
So I was drunk when I got to the club. I walked in and instantly went to the dance floor. I started dancing and vibing with the flow when this boy, not man, this boy starts to grind up against me. Yeah, okay. I remember those days. How primal. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just saw a I butt mean, and you just took your chances. You just, yeah, you jump on it. And they look at their homegirl, see if it you cute, you might get the, ugh. Um, doesn't yeah. always work. When it doesn't, it's a growing moment for a young boy. Damn. Yikes. Growing moment, like. Like it's horrible. It's horrifying. It's imprinted. I was thinking about (laughs) the physical growing moment in the moment. Oh, that's if it works. I'm saying if it doesn't work. Oh, no, it's hard if it doesn't work. (laughs) I had a girl turn around. She didn't like what I looked like. And she pretended to sneeze. She was like, and then walked away. And I was like, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she played the shit out of I you I was right <laughs> Damn. So yeah Anybody walking away from that With a hard penis Yo. Gummy Gummy Ooh, on the dance floor <laughs> Okay Me being me I'm twerking and grinding on him Until Layla comes And me pulls me up me. Yep see Whole group She like to dance <laughs> Damn <laughs> Me being me she And like then to my twerk. friend went to come Fetch me Yes mm-hmm. She was having too much fun Whole group I'm not judging Just keep going I'm just going what it is uh, She just dancing uh, Not tonight Naomi You're drunk Not tonight She said taking me to the bar And sitting me down a water bottle, please. She said, scanning the club for Ashanti. So she's looking around for Ashanti. Ashanti doing her thing, okay? She left. Zay came to get her. I said, while hiccuping. Oh, she's really drunk. <laughs> she's hiccuping. She even put that in the tweet. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, while hiccuping. Amari is outside waiting for you. I added as I drunk from the water bottle. Damn. So she was like, she saved her from the dance floor, gave her some water, and was like, I'll hit you. I'll see you later. I'm about to go. Mari's outside. Wow. Okay. This she wasn't really. He can wait and un- he can wait until you're sobered up. I'll leave I'll leave you the car once you're sober, she said, making me nod. Okay. Oh, and she left her the car keys. She switched over her designated driver position to the drunk person. And that's crazy. This okay. is the mom of the group. Whole group. Yeah. Whole group. You don't even have a good mom of the group? Your mom is the biggest hoe? I mean, she's not really a mom, so it's like... But she was. She literally stopped her story to give a character breakdown and saying, this is Naomi. She's responsible. She's like the mom of the group. Really, mom? I'm about to go get some dick. Sober up so you can drive home. (laughs) Don't give us too much responsibility, okay? Wow. Whole group. Keep going. I was sober, but still decided to stay back at the club. Me and the boy had exchanged names and numbers before going our separate ways since I was about to leave. Once I went home, I showered and all that stuff before laying down. As soon as I did, I got a text from an unknown number. Yo, you trying to come over? Oh. Jameer. He just cut straight to it. It wasn't even like, do you have a good time? Nice to meet you. Yo, what it do? Cut the shit. You know what I'm here for. And I know, I mean, we know how it ends. Spoiler mm-hmm. alert, it's called One Night Stand. But yeah. it's crazy that she went home, showered, and got in bed. Like, that's usually a done for the night. But if you was really feeling him, if you was really feeling him, you'll Pop get back up. in the car. Anybody you really feeling. You get you, after the call, shower and the lay down. If you want some dick, anybody that, you know, you're dealing with like that could probably get you out of bed. I mean, don't get us wrong. Coochie I know, is, I'd get out of bed. <laughs> coo- coo- coochie, coochie do the same thing. But I mean, it's, right. it's that's tough after the shower and, mm-hmm. the, and the bed. But okay. Now if I, yeah, if I took my makeup off and I put my bonnet on. Oh, if you bonnet it up. I'm not going to go to a new dude if I'm, if I'm, if I'm bonnet it up. But, but if I'm you a, went to, go a to a repeater, a, yeah. you would go bonnet it up? Yeah, you, especially you if you've the seen bonnet. it. Or if, he's, if we've already smashed with my bonnet on, then... But you pulling up, knocking on the door, bonded it up. If it's like three o'clock in the morning, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's funny to just be driving. Yeah, he gonna to pull dick it off anyway. In a bonnet, looking like Aunt Jemima. He gonna pull <laughs> it off. <laughs> get some dick. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it just so he can pull it off. 
<laughs> he could pull it off and put it on his head. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of freaky shit you into? Is it hat switching? <laughs> That's what we doing. <laughs> niggas do Hit shit it from like the back. That. Switch the niggas hat. Niggas do stupid ass <laughs> shit. Why are you having sex? Okay. All right. So my bad. Keep going. Okay. Yo, you trying to come over? Jameer. For a minute, I didn't want to text back, but eventually I said, okay, and text back. Fast forward, his house. Oh, shit, Jameer. Oh, no. Do I got to do it? Oh, shit, Jameer. I moaned out as I gripped his hair. Yes, she went, I looked at your head. She went, to, <laughs> she went to dialogue. That's interesting. Yeah. She didn't She didn't say, hey, we, we started fucking. She went straight to dialogue mm-hmm. great storyteller yeah okay so she said y'all probably like what the fuck is going on let's just say white and brown plus smoking does not mix white and brown did she mean clear yeah she meant white, clear. And brown. <laughs> white and brown i thought she was talking about like niggas yeah people, people. Se- Jameer, segregation yeah what kind of That's shit is that crazy I name mixed for a white, white and brown yeah so <laughs> i think she meant clear and brown plus smoking does not mix yeah, it's really the clear and the brown that doesn't mix. The smoking is probably all right. Um, he gripped onto my waist as I continued to move my hips, grinding on his face. Oh, she was my getting, body began to jerk and shake as I came all on his face. On. Oh, okay. She was getting, she was getting that cat ate. Oh, this gets real graphic. I'm, I've, I've heard, I've heard graphic things before. Okay. So. Okay. Go ahead. He began to suckle my clit and finger me, slowly adding a finger as I moaned louder. Ugh. <laughs> so I didn't know I'm the show was going to be this. <laughs> but it might be this. <laughs> Shit. It's getting hot in here. Turn up the air. I didn't. This is. <laughs> it makes sense. This is a thick ass thread. Right. Um, I moaned loudly as I began to jerk and squirt. He moved out the way, still fingering me fast. I finished squirting and just laid there, lifeless. You a wild boy eating eating the cat first first day. Is that wild? First first time meeting. Is first that wild? eating the cat off off rip. You don't eat the cat the first time you deal with somebody. After just met him. Hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Cat eat. I'm not gonna lie, I've done it. <laughs> I'm not saying so why I, are you acting like because I don't respect it. Oh, so you don't respect yourself. <laughs> I didn't respect it when I did it. No, but I, I'm, uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm aware now, I and really I don't. Liked I don't it, though. I don't do that, huh? Was it a bad experience? No, because I, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't just be wilding like that. I have my, I have my techniques to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm in the right. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> clearly, just, just keep going. My voice is okay. keeping a lot of people from finishing right now. <laughs> Oh damn! <laughs> Let Sorry, me get back guys. Into it. Yeah, guys, my bad. I'm here for you. Um, I began to throw it back and twerk, making him moan, groan, and cuss under his breath. I kept throwing it back, making him stutter and shit. We both came. Stutter and shit. Stutter and shit. It's like stutter and shit. Oh, yeah. The was, emphasis you put on I'm it. Sorry. Was, that was wild as hell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm waiting for a big okay. twist like that. Once we both came, he pushed down on my back putting his thumb into my back dimples okay she got the little back dimples it's cute like a little playstation controller mm-hmm. i'm gonna try that that's kind of cool <laughs> up down left boop. right come 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 boop wow you know what i mean fireball, i don't know fireball, if that's fireball. gonna a dorkin a <laughs> dickin i'm sorry guys <laughs> Let me let you keep talking. <laughs> I'm not gonna get through this. It's the worst. It's the worst call center ever. <laughs> yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> They're like, oh, this nigga ah, can't cut. Right. <laughs> ah, oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, we did a few more rounds before getting into 69. We're going round after round to get each other to tap out. How old are these niggas? God damn, round Probably after round. 30s. They were they were really going Probably in early thirties. They were, why you say that? Cause I, this sounds like early thirties. That sound like a. This doesn't sound like twenty six. The friend group sound like um, twenty two to twenty four year old hoes. Yeah, but the sex doesn't sound like t- early twenties. What makes what what about the sex giving you thirties? Early twenties sex is kind of trash compared Not to all the time. Well, you might be right compared to you know at the time though. At the time, it'd be At like. Times, 
But what they're describing sounds like she might be romanticizing it a little bit because she used dialogue. But keep going. Yeah, because after they smash, then they going into the sixty nine. <sighs> oh shit, ma! He groaned as I deep throated and massaged his balls. His dick began to jump in my mouth, signaling he was about to nut. He groaned loudly as he come as his cum went straight down my throat. Soon after he nutted, he tapped out, making me get up and smile. We showered and cleaned up and then go, and then ended up going to sleep. Is there like a twist or is this just a straight up sex story? This was a one night stand. So it was really like a just a straight up I got smashed raw tonight. That was the it wasn't like his wife showed up or No. It's just was, we nutted. This was the <laughs> took this a sounds shower. like a great one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> she just told about the time she had a one night stand. <laughs> Why he was you? like, of all the stories, you read a, a crazy list too. You're like, my favorite is one night stand. And I was like, oh snap. This no, is no, be no. Crazy. That's just one I liked. I mean, I thought it no, was. No, 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 it was a great story. But your last story was like, my fiance had a micro penis. And, yeah. And and, this and is he different. started smashing his best friend. It's a different show. It had some pretty crazy twists. It's a different episode. Okay. No, I I didn't know you were just going. So that's the cool thing about the the show. It can be a a crazy one. It could be a funny one. It you could were be waiting a, for a the plot twist. A, a, a porn one. Uh, it could be. A, it could be an educational one. I, I got some science ones lined up. Mm-hmm. Not for the first few, but um, hey, all right, you're welcome, guys. Yeah, I see the end. We came, took a shower. Now we're married. Type of stuff. No, it's a one night stand. Oh, so there they just went their separate ways. <laughs> Isn't one night stands? You yeah, do I guess it so. and you never talk again. That would be crazy to have that kind of sex. Yeah. What and was, never talk again. What was, what, it must have been like everything but, you know, like right afterwards. Because she, she ended it at the shower. Maybe mm-hmm. after the shower, they sat down and had a meal together. And he was like, yeah. This ain't it. Confederate flag. And she was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maybe they got to know each other. And they're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Right. This nigga's area. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I would think. Oh, that, that. I mean, you can be turned off because after you nut, it's like clarity, clarity, post Man. nut clarity, post nut clarity. Save mm-hmm. me on a, that. Saved me a lot of gas in my day. Did it? Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, so like before you was about to go see a chick, you would like make yourself nut, and then mm-hmm. and then you weren't interested anymore because you realized you. It's was like being how thirsty. rappers be like, you got to fuck the homies first. I tell my dick that. To my hand. <laughs> like, you want to fuck her? You got to fuck the homie first. And then so, if you get past the homie. Yeah. And then if afterwards yeah. I'm like, she's not that cute. I'd stay home. What's that clarity? It saved a lot of, a lot of niggas gas. A lot of niggas from come, go, doing uh, rough decisions just because their dick was like. Okay. But what do you, what do you tell them? <laughs> tell who? The girl that's waiting on you. To um, come drop the dick off. Fell asleep, too too intoxicated, which Uber ruined. Um, Fell asleep. I don't know. You jackass. I don't know. Oh, I got got hit with fell asleep before. All right, let's get into some fun facts. We did our thick threads. I want to hear what you brought to the table. That, uh, ugh, Uh, I said brought to the table on a podcast. That is disgusting. Table. Wow. Real original. That's just the sign of a horrible show. I hate them brought to the table podcast. What do women bring to the table? <laughs> That's always the question. Oh, my fun fact! And the is answer is always on yours. everything. My fact is scientific, and it's gonna change the way you look at the sky. Because the moon is actually shaped like a lemon. It just looks round from our perspective. But in in actuality, if you go up to space, the moon is lemon shaped. It's freaking crazy. Do you have the a picture mo- of this? The mo- no, this is just a fun fact. Uber facts. Love you guys. Love That's you guys. Where I get Uber my facts, facts from too. See, 
incredibly credible because half the stuff that I do videos on, or sorry, all the stuff I do videos <laughs> on, if I choose it, I'll do research on it. And they've never, they never post any uh, skimp. <sighs> Lemon shape. I've never heard of that. Hey, look it up. So yeah, why does it yeah. look round? F- from our perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you the facts. Okay. You do the you do the rest. This isn't another thread. This is oh, just lemon a little, moon, huh? Lemon moon, lemon shaped moon, lemon shaped moon. For all you uh, astrologists out there, that's so weird because when you see all the pictures from people in their telescopes, it still looks round. But still, from our perspective. But the crazy thing is, like, what is the crescent moon? You know, the, like, what the shape crescent. is that for real? Well, isn't that just like the shadows from the sun? Right, which makes a circle like this. But if it's lemon shaped, what does the crescent turn? What would right. it really be? You know, would it just be a parallel line, like a big old pause symbol? Because lemon sky? is like oval. What do you think is going to beat changing the world's perspective on the moon? Okay. To help sex workers get more business during the 16th century. Oh, my God. Officials in Venice designated a bridge to where women could stand and display their breasts. A titty bridge? The bridge still stands to this day and is called Ponte del Tete. Does that translate to titty bridge? The Bridge of Tits. Oh, my God. Hey, those were neck and neck in my book. (laughs) Titty bridge? I think the titty bridge beats your your lemon moon. The titty bridge is is great because it's a titty bridge. No, you think but about it's also, it. But it's also just an early Figueroa Street. It's just an early hoe walk. 16th century women. <clears throat> just imagine going, <laughs> standing under this bridge. Titty bridge? No, that's fantastic. And everybody just like, I'd make a lot of money. You <laughs> I mean, you might have to have your own section. I'd make a lot of money, honey. <laughs> titty bridge. Look, they would, all the girls would just leave. Like, You think you'd make all did. the titties leave? I think I would make the titties leave. Hey. That might that might have been happening in 16th century. Who knows? But who knows? They had them. Or they could be my best friends. They had things that tied and made it like regular titties poke up like crazy. Mm, you talking um, about like bustiers? <clears throat> but prostitution is like the oldest job in the book, you know? Right. Pussy has been sold for a very long time. Yeah. But no one knew about this moon stuff, which is why I feel like they're not, they're well, neck and neck. About the, you did, for sure didn't know about the titty bridge. <clears throat> right, but I the knew about, bridge. I knew about niggas lusting after titties. Yeah, but did you know that they was doing this kind of shit in the 16th century? No, it's a great fact. Yeah. It's a great fact. I think my fact beats yours. Why does it have to beat? See how I said, you see how it's I said they were neck, neck and neck and still she, hers comparison. has to beat mine, huh? It's still a comparison. I mean, if we're going to be I honest, you out on this one. I, if we're going to be perfectly honest, changing people's shape of the moon is way better than a titty bridge. Well, people I was don't being really nice. believe shit about the moon anyway. So, what? Like, you saying the moon, the moon is a liar? No, I'm just saying people don't believe shit about it. Like the moon landing. That's not on the moon. That's on America. But I'm saying people don't believe shit. That's on the, that's on that's on the lies of America. Don't take that mm-hmm. on on the moon. I'm the moon's like, hey, we I wouldn't have, we moon. wouldn't have moved the flag if it was up here. Like that's 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 on us. That was on the cold the Cold War, but um, with Russia. I heard we've never seen the other side of the moon. The dark we've side of the moon. Only seen like one side. Hey, hell, what do niggas you think is there? on the other side? Hell, of niggas, niggas, es- extraterrestrial no. niggas though. And what are they doing? I think Jumping. there's a base up there, huh? Jumping. <laughs> Why do you think they're up there jumping? Why? Why? What? <laughs> you well, okay. In because your the, in your craziest scientific fantasies, the, <laughs> there's just niggas on the other side of the moon jumping up and down. High as fuck. Oh, high jumping, just yeah, like woo! I can't do this on the other shit. side. <laughs> I mean, you could, but I mean, why wouldn't they be on our side if they on the other side? That wouldn't make sense. Um, they're allergic to the light? I don't think I'm going to shake that thought. I think every time I look at the moon, I'm going to think of <laughs> think jump, niggas jumping on the other side. <laughs> like a giant trampoline with no gravity <laughs> on the other side. And that's all they're doing back there. And that's they're, they're, I don't know why they're hiding Playing from basketball? us. They're just, no, just jumps. Just jumping. Just straight up jumps. Wow. But we can leave it up to the audience to see who had the better fun fact, who had the better thick thread. I feel like just off rip, just based on who's watching, I'm going to just 
lose a lot of these. But no, mine mine was crazy. I think I think your thread beat out mine. I mean mine was very sexual hey, in not, nature. Very it's not up it's not up graphic, to. very titillating. 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 That's the word of the day. Titillating. Titty bridge. Titty bridge. <laughs> yes. But I think yours was funnier. Thank you. But like I said, if you, you know, leave it in the comments. And uh, this has been kind of the first episode, first official episode yes. of uh, of Thick Threads. Did you have a good time? I did. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we will see you guys next week with some thick threads and some thicker facts. Mm-hmm. Later. Bye. I got thicker facts. Thicker like facts? Thicker Piece facts. You like that? Oh, yeah. All right. We got to hit this little stop button.